this is Tim Pierce. Click the link below if you want to check out the masterclass or the free lesson videos not on YouTube. And there's also a link down there if you want to check out these guitars. Here's a guitar I had Tom Anderson build and bought from him in the 90s. And I, I had him do it unfinished. All the, the strats in that era had these really wild custom finishes and I wanted to go the other direction. So it's kind of <laughs> it aged in a funky way. And I always loved the tortoiseshell pickguard. I've had humbuckers in here uh, and single coil pickups and humbuckers and single coil pickups. Now I'm in a, a stage where it's, it's all single coil. The great thing about these pickups is that there's a noise canceling setting. And the noise canceling setting actually sounds glassier to me than the uh, noisy side, which is pretty great. That's the noise canceled setting, and here's the noisy setting. Actually, so it's, it's a pretty great uh, thing that he did with these pickups to make them sound really glassy and open in the actual noiseless position. When I'm recording, I work really fast and I often stay in one amp because I'm just moving so fast I don't want the distraction of plugging into different amps. So I'll get my tones from the guitar, from the amp settings, and from pedals. Uh, but when I take a little more time, I'll plug into different amps. Right now I'm plugged into this Princeton clone made by Roy Blankenship. Roy's kind of a legend around here. And when I do a Fender style amp, I set everything around five or six, just where it starts to break up a little bit. And for this, I also have a nice delay on in Pro Tools. You can get your delay from anywhere. And the, the thing I like about this chord progression, this B minor chord is, is really, it's a B minor nine sus. And my friend John Shank showed it to me. I basically have the B, and then I have the minor third, which is the open D string, and I have the ninth interval, which is right here, fret six, and then I have the fourth interval, here at fret five. I really love this. And with the delay, if you if you have a vibrato bar and you shake it just a little bit, that's a really nice dimension. A couple of the guitars I've bought from Tom have been products in development. And this is an early Atom. And what's cool about it, it has this mini hum in the neck position, which can sound like a Strat pickup. It can sound really throaty. Right now I'm plugged into the high watt It's a very big, clean sound. And for the performance, I use one amp. I use the divider by 13 for the whole performance. But now that I can slow down, I can go amp to amp. And this, this would have been a great choice if I wasn't moving so fast for the performance. <laughs> And this is kind of a hybrid rhythm solo solo. <laughs> and the way I achieve this and try and keep it going is to keep my hand constantly moving up and down. Because it's a six eight, if I keep my hand going, then it keeps me on track for doing this kind of hybrid rhythm lead solo. So here we have another Adam prototype. It's more or less Paul style. I think this morphed into the Bobcat and it's got two humbuckers, and I'm using the neck position pickup for this solo. I am plugged into the divided by 13, and I'm using the CAE Boost, which is an updated version of the MXR micro amp. It just wakes up the amp a little bit and pushes it. Still sounds very kind of open and organic. Doesn't distort too much, but just adds gain to the amp. And for this solo, it's hammers. Kind of seeing the B minor chord that's right here. These inversions. And then I drop into E minor when the band does. So now I've moved on to the Bulldog, which also has morphed into the Bobcat for Tom, I think. And the, the P90s sound really, really good. I had him kind of voice this for a really bluesy thing. And uh, I plugged into the David Grissom Paul Reed Smith amp. It's also a very kind of, I don't know if you know David's playing, but he's, he's, he's pretty great. You should check him out. He, designed, he spent a long time working on this amp with Paul. So I actually, this is a, a another look at the first thing I did, which is the kind of rhythm solo, but it's cranked up. There's a little more edge on it, and it turns into a blues solo halfway through. So it starts out with the rhythm part, and then I go into the blues. 
So here's the Raven. In many ways, it's my favorite Anderson right now because the body shape is so cool and I, I love the color. All of Tom's necks are just buttery smooth and easy to play. It's so easy to play fast on these necks. They're just, they're just excellent and, um, and very consistent too. This is a very glassy sounding guitar, but for this solo, I put it through the diesel and then it just becomes a high gain beast. Uh, check it out. And I'm just playing kind of free time. I kind of ignore time and just play as fast as I can. Definitely let the strings rub together because the distortion just makes any rub sound really intense. It's really fun. <laughs> 